take care and uh, stay tuned for the whoops next episode <laughs>
and I've stood in the river at the famous pool. This is the famous pool. This is the ledge. That's the mountain. I need to be over there, but there's an awful lot of water in this pool. Uh, I think you find the snow's filled it up a little bit. So I'm not going to be brave enough to be going stepping over there. But I'm going to set the camera up here and see what I can do. It's not going to be the one I want, but it won't be far off. Um, if I can get around that side, I will do. But yeah, this is the famous pool. This is where the famous photograph is taken. But definitely not this amount of water. So I'm going to set the camera up when I come back to you. Speak to you in a bit. It's a fantastic, unbelievably beautiful image. Uh, I can't tell you how cool this is. You'll have to wait until see it. But it is absolutely immense. I've got to get a filter in because I've got to slow this water down. And I really don't particularly want to be doing this in the river. <laughs> but needs must. Right, I'm at one second exposure, F11, ISO 100, absolutely gorgeous. Right, I'm going to change that to a an even bigger grad. I'm going to be crazy and I'm going to put in a nine a nine stop hard grad. Just because the snow's there, I want to hold that snow in and get the water exposed. And I think I think that's it. I think I've got it. I think I've got it in one shot. 3.2 seconds, F11, slight tilt on it, oh, absolutely shocking, beautiful, really, really nice. <laughs> My battery's nearly like flat on my microphone, but I just moved back slightly um, to get a different composition. And I'm just going to try a few. Uh, if my microphone goes, then I'll uh, I'll just have to do a bit of voiceover for you. Um, I've moved back across the pool a little bit on a little bit of a shallower area, just so I can zoom in. By zooming in, it's just dragging that mountain right up over the top, and it's actually making it a powerful, powerful image. It's just stunning. I'm going to have to bracket, I think, though, because I just can't seem to get all the detail where I need the detail. Um, I'm taking a couple of a couple of exposures, slightly long exposures with a six-stop ND grad in uh, to fluff out the water. I'm trying not to burn out the highlights because you know what snow's like. Snow's so hard to photograph against dark rocks, but it is. It's just beautiful, beautiful, absolutely stunning. So I'm spoiled today. After this morning, I didn't think I was going to get anything. Um, but this is just wicked. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Very classic image. Been seen a million times, but not by me.
heading back down. Um, been up and got the classic. We uh, there was only one image I really wanted, and that was looking across that waterfall up to the mountains with snow on, and I've got it. Um, ever so pleased with it in camera. You've obviously seen it before I have, so I'm assuming it's as good off camera and after it's been processed. Uh, like I say, we're making our way down. Just got to get across these bloody big stepping stones now with wet feet, and these are huge. Not very impressed with little tiny legs. I'm sure Denise doesn't like stuff like that either, but she's across. So, homeward bound. Well, not homeward bound, but I think we're leaving Sky tonight. Um, we're not going to get to store. I just got blizzarded out this morning and the weather turned gorgeous this afternoon. Taking some fantastic shots of the mountains across the fields. Um, ever so pleased with. I managed to get the drone out on fly, which you've probably already seen clips. Um, so I think, I think we're done for Sky. We're going to make our way back to Dunham Castle. Ellen, Dunham Castle. We're going to make our way back there. back, uh, left, just left Sky and we've got to the castle, forgotten the name, put the name above it. This is the image I'm looking at, if you can see this, uh, the sun's shining on it, it's absolutely gorgeous the way it's just standing out against the dark shadowed mountains and you've got the silver white uh, snow above it. Uh, what I've done is I've literally just jumped out of the van and I've got this gauze bush in front of me. And I've got the gauze bush at the bottom hiding all the horrible foreground and then the mountains and the, the sea just clips behind the gauze which gives you a lovely um, diffusion in the bottom. Uh, I'm going to try doing a 5.6 um, exposure purely because it will blow the gauze out a little bit and it's just a yellow foreground and it's just dead nice and the sun is right in your eyes spinning around that way. I'm stood by the bins, great isn't it? Um, let's have a look at that. It's just clipping the. Let's go back. Turn that off. It's just clipping the highlights, so we'll just drop the exposure a little bit um, just to make sure we keep the highlights in. And uh, we're trying to do it left handed. Beautiful little shot. Uh, the flag's flying, the castle's there. Dead nice. Right, I'm going to take you a little bit closer, so back in a second.
this is your life, eh? Get back in the van after taking a photo. I've got a cup of coffee ready. And my wife's driving. Well, what more can you say? Mm. Fantastic. Right. Just crossing the bridge now by the castle. In fact, it looks stunning from here as well. I should have maybe walked across the bridge and took one, but I got shouted at because I'm pushing for time. So yeah, see you in a bit.